Nice to meet you. Thank you both for taking time out of your busy day to chat with me. My name is Kristen. My site and social channels are Gen Y Mama, and I talk about family entertainment. So today we are celebrating the release of episodes 11 to 26 of season one, Transformers mm. Earth Spark. Yeah. <laughs> so my first question, I, I do want to ask both of you, but I guess, uh, Kat, I'll start with you first. How did you find out about the series and what was it about the series that made you want to like go for the role of Twitch? Uh, it just came in as an audition and, um, um you know, of course, I think actually, was it even a secret as it came out as an audition? I feel like when it, it yeah. It was supposed I, to be. I don't know if they were, I don't know if they hit it really well. <laughs> I feel like but it was, was supposed called, to be. It was, was it, it called Hometown something? Heroes. Hometown yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Home, right. That's right. That's what our record is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was called. And so I don't think I knew right off the bat what it was. I think I knew it was like confidential. Um, because cause we, we'll get auditions where we're not really clear on what it is. It, it, um. Anyway, but when I got it, it was, uh, I, I don't think I realized even right off the bat that it was going to be a new uh, Transformers robot. I, I, when I, when I got the role, I don't remember when I finally realized that or was told that, but um, I mean, of course you want to be part of like a really cool franchise that everyone loves. And then to, to have, to, to be a new, a new robot is like a dream come true. So you know, once all that information was revealed, it was the most exciting thing. And I didn't realize that it was going to, you know, years later and a few toys later, I was still <laughs> this was still going to happen. So it's, right. it's pretty cool. It's more than I ever hoped for. You, you go into these things, obviously, like wanting to be optimistic, but also being like trying to temper your your expectations because so often things don't necessarily like play out the way that your imagine can run imagination can run wild with so you learn that you're just like oh <laughs> let me just keep things small and excited, not get too excited and then of course as as things re get revealed you allow yourself to get more and more excited over time wow so that's really interesting so they didn't say like hey we have a new transformer series would you like to audition they kept it uh, under wraps they did not uh, it was not public mm -hmm. information for you guys mm -mm. Wow, no. so Zeno, you didn't know either. Did you have any inkling yeah. that it would be Transformers or? I think I had, a, I feel like I had a bit of an inkling around a lot of auditions that went out. And I remember on the auditions, it would like say like, like car form is this kind of car. And I would be like, oh, this kind of Transformers-y. But I wasn't sure because <laughs> it was Nickelodeon and I didn't realize that they had like bought the kind of the license. So I was like, but Nickelodeon, do, do they do Transformers? Like, is that, you know? Um, so I think I sort of approached it like it. Uh, I was like, I think, especially Bumblebee's audition side felt very Bumblebee. I was like, this feels very Bumblebee. Mm -hmm. um, to hide Bumblebee. Uh, I, yeah, I, even if it's not Bumblebee, I'm gonna act like it's Bumblebee, <laughs> just in case it's Bumblebee. You know, I was like, this is what it felt like. Um, so it, it was like a, that balancing act of like, I don't want to play it too on the nose, but I also kind of feel like that's what it is. Um, and yeah, when it came around, like Kat said, and it was confirmed to be Transformers, I was like, oh, oh, wow. Oh, that's it's for real, you know? So, and then we had to sign like 50 NDAs and like not anything for like- <laughs> Sure. Well, I, uh, the thing it, that it, I love like, about this show is that because it's Nickelodeon, it does open it up to a younger, generation mm -hmm. and Hasbro was so kind to send me I've got I got so I mean, this is so cool I don't know this like, is cool that is so cool <laughs> is that nightshade so oh. this one here my camera I don't know how I'm doing mm -hmm. I'm not in I'm not a very good oh Mo. I don't know. <laughs> Bumblebee and Mo. that's so cool and then we've got this one now how does it feel oh, to see like Twitch your character twitch like in toy form like how is that for you <laughs> it's the best <laughs> it's truly the best yeah it's like there's nothing like having your character having its own toy like that's yeah. like that's a, that's always a dream when when there is a toy out and you're like oh this is i i voiced that character it's <laughs> it's beyond cool yeah. Very and cool. surreal <laughs> And Zeno, uh, because it's for uh, it's opening up to younger audiences, what is uh, something that you hope 
uh, they might take away after watching this series? Is there a lesson that you hope is like gets instilled in, in younger viewers or? Yeah, I, well, one, I want them to fall in love with Transformers just like I did when I was their age and I was watching this show. Um, but also like this show in particular, uh, you know, Transformers always has always had these messages of unity and togetherness. And I think this one really hones in on family and what that means and acceptance. I think like, like, you know, family is the people who accept you no matter who you are or what you look like, or, you know, they will meet you there and love you there and love you there very fiercely. And I think that's what the show demonstrates really well is it doesn't matter like what you look like or once you're your family, that's it. And I'll fight for you. Um, whether that's emotional or physical in the show, you know, with, with protecting your family. Um, so I just want them to take, take those values away of like learning how important acceptance is and being accepted is. Absolutely. Uh, Kat, do you have anything to add to that? I kind of agree <laughs> that that's a good lesson. Yeah, no, I definitely agree, agree fully with Zeno and also just, um, uh, loving one another's differences and celebrating one another's differences and not forcing yourself or your, yourself into a box or anyone else that you love into a box and having the patience to sort of let people reveal themselves and nurturing those those unique qualities. Mm -hmm. I think that's super important and um, it would be nice to have more of that in the world. Absolutely, yeah, have to mm -hmm. agree with that. Now. Um, <laughs> As because it is kind of we're expanding the universe, and so you, what is it like, kind of ushering in these new species, so to speak, of transformers for uh, the series? Uh, Zeno, I'll ask you first. <laughs> it's it's really surreal. Like uh, playing a, a transformer in any capacity is one thing, but playing a new sort of species of transformer, a new sort of transformer robot that adds another layer to an already multi-layered lore and universe um, is really something special, I think. And I'm, I'm really honored to be one of the people who get to sort of bring that layer to life and introduce that layer to the world. You know, uh, we are the first parents in Transformers lore. And I think that's, that's really, really cool. And I look forward to see how that gets implemented alongside the broader Transformers world. And hopefully I get to be there uh, with that too. Yeah. And now um, I'm sure you guys have been asked this before and it's admittedly a cliche question, but I'm going to ask you both and Kat, I'll throw it to you first. If you could be a Transformer, like in our world, if you could transform into something, what would you want to transform into? It's kind of like a superpower, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm um I'm picking something unexpected and that is um a hot air balloon. Oh yeah, like just sort of floating, floating along. Yeah, yeah. Like getting really it's high up there. Calm. It is calm. I mean you got like I, I imagine like you can catch the wind and you know get to places more quickly if you like angle it a little bit. You mm -hmm. know, there's a lot that you can do with it. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's colorful. I imagine very colorful. So I'm I'm going with the hot air balloon. I like it. Expect the unexpected. Mm -hmm. I like <laughs> and <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, my answer is hoverboard. I'm a big hoverboard fan. Uh, I love hoverboards. So I I I I think it's also just like me desperately wanting one to exist that's like doesn't have a wheel. So I'm just saying this so that there, it would exist in the world if I <laughs> could be a hoverboard. Yeah, right. yeah. It's kind of crazy that it doesn't exist. I will right. say. Right, at this like, point, at this yeah. Point, I think, 2024. I think, right. Yeah. We're doing Why the wrong we thing <laughs> with <laughs> science. <laughs> right. It's crazy. <laughs> Well, thank you both so much again. Um, it's the second half of season one, episodes 11 to 26 are now available on DVD, Transformers Earth Spark. Thank you both. Thank, thank you, you so much. Woo.